Hey, welcome back. Chili Sports Cards here. Um, today, I wanted to do a special video for you guys. Um, I got a, a mixture of things going on. Um, right here, this little stack right here is stuff that I've um, opened up. Mail day stuff. Um, stuff that I've ordered on eBay. You can tell right on the top, it's a Top Series 2 Pete Alonzo. Um, I've done some videos on some of that opening on the Top Series 2. And uh, unfortunately, I wasn't lucky enough to get one myself. So I decided, you know what? I was just going to buy some on eBay. Um, it's a guaranteed thing. It's easy. They're not too super expensive. However, um, just something that I wanted to point out, I've been noticing, um, this right here is a Topps Chrome update. Um, you know, it's a Chrome card. It's a rookie card. It's a Pete Alonzo. Right now, the top series two, there's two different versions. You got the, um, it's like a photo variation card and the, and the other one, this is like the normal one. These are selling for more than the Topps Chrome update. I don't know exactly what's going on with the uh, the Top Chrome update prices right now, but they're just terrible. Um, I mean, just absolutely garbage. Uh, you can buy, you know, one of these Top Chrome update Pete Alonzo's for like a buck or two at the most. You know, they should be selling for about five, anywhere for from you know five to ten dollars a piece, but they're just not. Um, I don't know what's going on with the the prices right now. They're really funny. I've noticed um, recently on eBay. Um, you can get a lot of stuff real dirt cheap and stuff like that. So um, I just wanted to uh, touch basis on that right now. If you're um, if you're looking for a base Pete Alonzo, I strongly like recommend just getting the top series two, um, or maybe even um, the just the regular tops update without the chrome. So this is a tops update, and this is the tops update chrome. For whatever reason, the you know the tops chrome updates are just not moving right now. They're real cheap. So. Um, I mean, that's kind of cool in a way, too. You know, maybe, you know, you can come up and get a bunch of those real cheap and then sell them down the line for a lot more. Um, so I'm going to go over this um, little stack that I've already opened up here. Um, just some cards that I've ordered, uh, cards I got good prices on, stuff um, you might even be like, ah, why'd you get that? But um, just stuff that I felt like getting. And then I got some um, some more stuff right here that I'm going to open, stuff that I ordered. Um, so let's go ahead and go through that list here. So I got three of the um, Tops Series 2 updates. They all look like they're pretty good shape. Nines are nines are better, so um, I was pretty pleased with those. Um, right now, like PSA 10s are selling for about $30, so um, it's pretty good. Um, I bought some vintage cards, nothing too crazy over the top, just cards that I thought were pretty cool that I um, I saw that they were pretty cheap. Um, basically, what I did was I just went to eBay, and I hit Tops, and I did a search for, you know, Ending Soonest. And these cards didn't even have any bids on them. It's a 1975 Bob Gibson card. Um, you know, I don't have a lot of really old vintage stuff, so I'd like to start buying some more of that. Um, I got that card for 99 cents, and I think it was like another 99 cents to ship. So um, I bought this little lot right here is uh, Pete Rose cards. It's like a 78, 79, and a 77. Just old tops Pete Rose cards. Um, you know, same thing. I just I checked the... Um, they don't look like they're too bad. I think this is the worst one. I don't know if you can see. Uh, there's a there's a crease in this one. But the other ones are okay. There's no creases. This one has like a little bubble in it. Um, but they're old cards, you know, so I'm not expecting them to be perfect or anything. I, I, I think I spent like $2 on those three Pete Rose cards. So um, I would like to eventually get actually every single Topps Pete Rose card that, that's out there. Um one of my previous videos, I opened up a, a box of 93 Bowman, and I did not pull a Jeter out of it, so I decided that I'd just get one for myself. This is an SGC. It's graded at an 8. Um, you know, it has the old numbers up there, so it's been graded for a while now. Um, yeah, you know, I didn't have one, so I just decided I would uh, pick one up. I think I spent like 25 bucks on it or something like that. Um, not anything too super expensive, but... Um, I didn't pull one in, in the box that I opened, so I, I wanted one. And uh, generally, like I would like to pull stuff myself. I, there's uh, like a certain gratification that I get when I pull the stuff, and then if it's nice quality, then I send it in, and then yeah, I get it graded. And then if I don't want to keep it, you know, I'll sell it once I get it back from the grading companies. And there's a certain satisfaction in it for me if I can make a few bucks and have fun doing that. Then that's that's what I like about the hobby, you know. I like to uh, do stuff like that. It's something that I feel like, you know, I put, you know, out there. You know, it's I opened it and I sent it in, and 
it got uh, you know a good grade and then uh you know i turned around and sold it and made some money and i had fun doing it so, you know that's that's what i like to do so cards like this one um and these pete roses and this bowman right here those are going to be for my personal collection um the pete alonzos i'll probably send in and get them graded and you know if they grade well and i you know like maybe tens scc tens whatever i'll sell them you know maybe i'll keep them um actually i bought two of the one that one i bought two of those so i'm going to keep one for myself um that's how i do it i usually like to try to buy more than one and then um <coughs> you know keep one for myself because i do collect also i'm not just a uh flipper or somebody that's just trying to make money you know i do have a personal collection as well so um i'm gonna go ahead and open up these um yeah these mails I, I got one like like this in an envelope i don't really care for that too much but as long as i get the card and it's a good shape that's what matters the most so um i should probably flip these over so my address doesn't show so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and open this one up first what is this one okay so this is a 1995 Derek jeter sp um it's got the silver so it's like the parallel color because there's red and blues but the silver is like the parallel color um just by judging on the back that might be a little soft right there but overall it's in pretty good shape so um i've been buying a lot of um 94 and 95 Derek jeter cards um recently because i think that those cards are going to go up in value a lot because those are actually rookie cards even though nobody really truly believes that the cards are going to eventually go up in price so um and you know i'm not spending a lot of money on these cards they're, they're pretty cheap right now so um here goes another one right here this is a dirt gear 1994 upper deck um it looks pretty good. It's got the electric diamond version. You know, this is a Derek Jeter rookie card. Um, these things are selling, I think, uh, PSA 10s. Uh, PSA 9s are selling for around $20 to $40. And it looks pretty good. Um, the cor the corners are sharp and good. I don't see anything really wrong with the surface through the plastic or anything like that. So um, I thought that was a pretty cool, cool card to pick up. It's a Derek Jeter rookie card, guys, you know. And I'm... Um, only buying these cards like maybe five dollars or so you know so um you know depending on how the pictures look on the in, you know on the internet if they're looking good you know and i could uh you know get them with a good um you know in good shape then yeah i'm gonna go ahead and, and buy them this was just something um this is one of those cards where it's like well why did you buy this man i only spent like a dollar or two dollars on this card um I used to be, when I used to collect back in the, in the day, um, I used to be really big on inserts. Inserts were like the coolest thing to me. Um, and there was a lot of really cool inserts. And I remember this one. It was like, um, I think maybe a 1 in 50 packs or something like that. It was a pretty rare card. Um, I, I used to always want to get one of these of uh, King Griffey Jr. and Barry Bonds. I think I've already got the the Griffey. And so I didn't have the Bonds. And I seen it for a couple dollars. It doesn't look bad at all. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and pick it up. Um, I really miss the '90s, man. As far as baseball cards go, I think that the inserts were just something that was like so much more fun about the hobby. Like now, you get inserts in there. Um, they're okay and stuff, but they're mainly just colors. You know, you're looking for color. Um, and it, to me, it's kind of boring. You know, if they had a you know, since Tops is kind of primarily the major company out there right now that does baseball cards, not that uh, Panini isn't doing baseball cards as well, but, you know, if they set aside one um, different type of, um, you know, set, whether it's Tops Tribute, Tops something else, you know, you know, that primarily did more insert cards, you know, I think that would just be really cool if they had like four, five, six different groups you know insert cards and some of them are really rare like one in 300 packs or one in 500 packs or even one in a thousand or two thousand packs but they had a cool design on them or something just cool you know um you know i, I just think that that would be something that'd be really cool for the hobby um you know a lot of those old 90s insert cards are just dirt cheap right now and um 
you know, especially Bonds and McGuire, you can pick them up like just so super cheap. And it's like crazy because I remember like that Barry Bonds card. If I would have bought that card back in the day, this guy wrote me a little, um, a little, a little note on the back of it. Um, so that's pretty cool, I guess. They did read it, but I'm not going to read it out loud for you guys. Um, I really like how he shipped the, the card in cardboard with the blue tape. Um, that's how, you know, that's how you send cards right there, guys. Um, this one was really, really awesome. I spent $10 on this card. Um, I'm going to save this cardboard. So when I sell stuff, I'll, I'll just use it or use it. So this is a Topps Finest Refractor, Barry Bonds. It's still got the um, the um, the surface protecting plastic on it. Um, it's serial number to 500, and it's an insert card. It's a um, Milestones Doubles, Topps Finest Refractor, Barry Bonds. I picked this card up for $10. Um, I think it's from 1999. Yeah, it's a 1999. Um, back in the day, you know, if I was at a card shop or a card store, you know, or a card... Um, a card show, and I seen this card. I I'm gonna guess that I would have probably spent close to fifty to a hundred dollars on this card. Serial number cards back in this time were real, like just a real big deal. And then the insert, and then being a refractor, still having the peel on the front. Um, the corners look really, really good on it. Um, you know the edges and everything look really nice. So um, I'm gonna probably send this in to get graded to SGC. And it's gonna be something that I just keep for myself, you know. I'm not gonna resell it or whatever. Um, I loved Barry Bonds. There's a lot of people that don't. Um, and you know, that's just one of those things. Um, you know, you know, you're gonna either like him or you're not. You know, um, you know, did he cheat? You know, probably. You know, is that frowned upon? Of course. Um, but was he the best player in baseball? Yes. So. I don't know. I, I miss Barry Bonds, man. I, I loved watching him play more than anybody. Maybe besides Ken Griffey Jr. This is pretty nice. It was a... Uh, oh, they sent me a bonus, bonus card. Iconic Ink. That's kind of cool, I guess. Um, let's put uh, that Iconic Ink off to the side. Um, so this one I had never seen before. It's a Derek Jeter card. Um, it's a 1994... Looks just like a tops card, basically, but it's a it says Flare Excel. It says Tampa Tampa Yankees. I guess that's like a double A or a triple A team for the Yankees. This is a Derek Jr. rookie card. Or a minor league card. Um You know, it's PSA graded um at a eight. You know, it's not a super high grade or anything like that, but um you know, I just thought it was a really cool card. I'd never seen this card before anywhere you know it's the first time i ever seen this card i was online i was just looking around on ebay just checking stuff out and i thought it was really cool man so i was like you know what um i've never seen the card before i'm gonna go ahead and pick it up and then it's already graded so i'm just gonna leave it this way um and i'll just keep it for my you know personal collection um so yeah you know pretty cool we got some more cardboard right here i'll, I'll save that for when i ship out other stuff and that's my um that's my mail opening video. Um I also did go ahead and buy some um top series two packs for at Walmart. And I'm gonna go ahead and open those up for you guys too. So there's three, there's four, there's five, there's six. Um I did already buy the Pete Alonzo's online myself and, and then I shown those to you guys already. Um but I wanted to pull my own. So that's why I bought these. Um there are some inserts in this stuff. You can get autographs. Um, you can get the colors, the Father's Day blue, the pinks, the golds. Um, there's variations. And then there's uh, short prints, super short prints. Um, reds and platinums. Rainbow foil. Advanced advanced stats. Vintage stock. Independence Day. Um, that would probably be my one of my top choices if I could get a month, uh, Independence Day. Um... That would be awesome. So I really like the way those cards look. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up for you guys right now. These are the fat packs. Um, if you're buying baseball cards from 2019 and you're not buying a Topps Chrome or Bowman Chrome or something high end, you know, I definitely recommend going to Top Series 2 right now. I think that this is the best value for the dollar that's going. Um, Topps Chrome update just seems to be really bad but 
Also, you know what? It, if it's something's really cheap, it's actually something, you know, it might be a good time to invest in that. So um, you can look at it both ways. You know, I would just buy the top series too. Get one graded, you know, if you're looking for a Pete Alonzo. But, you know, spend an extra few dollars and buy one graded. That way you know what you're getting. So there's a Howie Kendrick, Daniel, blah, blah, blah. There's a rookie card. <clears throat> Rowdy Telez. So basically I'm kind of just looking for, you know, Alonzo's or anything rare. If this Rainbow Foil was a rookie card, I'd be happy about it, but it's not. It's actually kind of beat up. Stan the Man. Gary Sanchez. This might be a short print. On the bottom right there, it says 31. So basically, I'll look over here at this one and then see what it says. Say it says 62. So that's like a Gary Sanchez.